Uh, Martian Gamer says, update on ISRO's new plan. They rolled out and also about their new NGLV. Um, what new plan have they rolled out? I am, I seem to be unaware of it. I mean, are they planning to develop reusable rockets? No. Are they planning to uh, develop a rocket that is 10 times most power, more powerful than the most powerful rocket they have? No. Are they planning to have a moon mission, human crewed mission to the moon anytime soon? No. Are they thinking about sending a rocket to Mars? I think Mangalyan 2 will happen sometime. There's nothing major coming up. It's all small incremental changes. And the government has said certain things that uh, we will have a space station in orbit around the Earth by the 2030s. Yeah, great. Wonderful. And we're going to have humans on the moon by 2040. Okay. Good, good talk. All words thus far. I am not trying to be cynical here. I hate cynicism. But I don't see any ambition when it comes to the government of India for ISRO. See, ISRO is a government entity. They can only carry out projects that are sanctioned by the government of India. <clears throat> Let's say you have a bunch of brilliant engineers in ISRO. They all are brilliant, not very competent. And some of them idea, have certain ideas of developing some new technology. Or let's say just copying what the SpaceX uh, engineers have done. Reusable rockets. Rockets whose boosters land auto autonomously. They may know how to do it. They may have an idea as to how to achieve this. They may even put forth a proposal to the chairman of ISRO. And the chairman of ISRO may even take that proposal to the government of India. But does the government of India want this to happen? No. Do you see any sign, symptom, evidence of the government of India showing any kind of ambition that ISRO should develop technology that others have not developed? No. We are simply copying what others have done before. We are simply following their footsteps. So I don't know what big new plan is there. Okay, I don't see anything exciting, anything challenge. It's challenging. Or space is challenging for sure. So we're going to have Chandrayaan 4, Chandrayaan 5 or whatever. Eventually, by the 2040s, we, if we are lucky, we may have a human mission to the moon. We're going to have, <coughs> excuse me, Gaganyan in the next two, three years, the first human orbital flight with Indian astronauts. Great. I, I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy to hear that. But we are doing what others have done a long, long time ago. 1950s, we're talking about, right? So uh, that's the problem. We have very talented engineers in ISRO. And the chairman of ISRO said that we have enough budget, we have enough, ISRO has enough funds to properly carry out all the projects it is allowed to do. All the projects that have been sanctioned. But what about the projects that should be sanctioned are not being sanctioned? And even the projects that are sanctioned, we have shoestring budgets. I mean, a Hollywood movie costs more than the budget of, of Chandrayaan or Mangalyaan, right? That's how little we are, ISRO is, the kind of budget ISRO is getting. So I don't know what new plan has been rolled out. I don't know. What is NGLV? What is NG? No, let me let me Google that. What is NGLV? What does NGLV mean? Now let us see. Okay, ISRO NGLV. I S R O N G L V. What's it mean? Next generation launch vehicle. Let's see what Wikipedia has to say. Statutory warning: Wikipedia is not always reliable. So the three stage partial blah 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 vehicle will replace PSLV, GSLV, LMV3. So LMV3, what is the maximum thrust? All that it has. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Specification, propellant, inertial mass, blah blah, etc. Maximum thrust 5150 kilonewtons. What is LEO mass? Launch mass is this. Second stage, third stage. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Or what is the payload it can take to what is the payload? Payload maximum thrust, propellant mass, gross mass, empty mass, height, powered by burn, blah 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 blah. Um maximum thrust 186 point something kilonewton. Uh where is the okay? Come on, let me see. Let me just search for LEO low earth orbit LEO. Payload to LEO is 13,000 kilograms. And geostationary transfer object 5,000 kilograms. That is 
this guy, um, LMB3, but we are talking about the other one, right? NGLV. So let me see what is this guy's payload to LEO. It doesn't tell you. Okay, 30 to 70 tons to LEO. In geostationary travel, okay, this seems to be a significant improvement. But five times better to GTO than, okay, that's interesting. So when will it be developed? Mm, it is being developed currently and blah, etc., etc. When will it come into, when, it, when is the first test expected to be list of launches? 2031. Okay. Okay, that's enough. I've seen enough. 2031. Okay, so like I said, I am not somebody who likes to be cynical. Uh, I'm glad this is happening. The NGLV, new next generation launch vehicle, seems to be a significant improvement on what we have. It doesn't seem to have reusable boosters and all that, which is very disappointing. Uh, but it's progress, nonetheless. But it's not going to be able to compete with Space, SpaceX or anything. Absolutely no competition. So, okay, we are doing some progress. You know, you if you give sufficient funding for new projects that involve re reusable launch vehicles and, and uh, boosters that can be used multiple times that can land themselves, if you give the funding, I am sure within 5 to 10 years, our engineers will be able to develop something as good as what SpaceX is, has. But we are not doing it. And that's what disappoints me the most. It is I'm not disappointed with ISRO, with the chairman of ISRO, or the or the, or the engineers in ISRO. I am disappointing with the entity that controls ISRO, which is the government of India. Very disappointing. Very disappointing indeed.